Hello everyone. So I came across this exercise to fit a sphere with a diameter of 50 millimeters into the smallest possible dodecahedron. Um, let's have a look at this. So a dodecahedron is a surface body with uh, 10 pentagon surfaces. And it has a close fit. There is no gap anywhere. And there is that sphere that fits perfectly inside this dodecahedron. There is a tangency to this surface and that one. And having a look at the right and side, we see that while well, those other faces are tangent to that sphere as well. So all all faces in this dodecahedron are tangent to that sphere. Let's have a look at the top view. Just to clarify things, let's have a look at the drawing. So this is the front view. We just need this one dimension, that sphere, 50 millimeters. That's the left side view, the top view, and the isometric view. Maybe you want to take this as a challenge and pause the video. Otherwise, I will show my solution of this. So I will start in an empty part studio with a sketch on the front plane and for normal view, P hide all planes, C, the circle, dimension that with those 50 millimeters and make that construction geometry. And now I will sketch that outer profile, which uh, we saw on that side view. So start here, go up there, go up here, there, connect here. And then I apply the constraints, tangency here, tangency there, and here, and over there, then parallel constraints of those two and of those two. And um, equal constraints between those two and those. And well, all those four. Okay, um, but still, we need something to define how long or how short that's going to be. And it, it, it is not um, tangent here, because that is um, remembering from that side view here. Um, that is one side of that pentagon and perspective, right? So um, for that, I get that I have that idea to draw one polygon on one edge. I'll take that top edge here, pull that out. It's five sided. We know that. And then make a coincident relationship here. And a vertical over here on midpoint, doesn't matter. Okay, so this um, pentagon is a, so to say, a view of the pentagon that lies here on top, rotated 90 degrees around that axis. And that is the same situation of that edge here. 
So um, we can create a constraint of equal length between those two. And we know from the top view that the center point of that pentagon needs to be um, vertically aligned with that center point. And there you have it. That's that is um, our fully constrained sketch, and from that on, we can model our dodecahedron. So I exit that and define a plane by a line angle. Take that line and um, that front plane. Let's have a look. We want to rotate 90 degrees. There it is. And now on, on that plane here, let's sketch that inscribed polygon. I'll first start here on the side and then make that coincident relationship here. And that midpoint of that one and that point fully defined. Great. Now let's just take that surface fill command and pick those um, five edges here. All right. Hide that plane. And Let's just define by a intersection curve between the front plane and the right plane, an axis, which we can use to make a circular pattern of our initial surface. So we got those five right now. And again, well, we can hide that sketch one, right? Um, with a fill command, we can fill that bottom here. All right. Next, let's um, combine all those. Well, okay, I, I, I had um, used that option adding. Okay, so we got this one surface. And now we need one um, plane to mirror that bottom part to the top. So I go to the plane. Command, take that plane point. Take that bottom surface, take that point. And this is fully constrained. That is um, parallel to that bottom one through that midpoint of our edge. So now I'll mirror that part over that plane. Okay. And just give it a little rotation around that axis we had created. And that is going to be a 36 degrees angle. I can hide that curve and combine those two surfaces into one body. I will rename that dodecahedron and just give it a um, nice purple um, appearance, hide that plane back there. And now, just to prove um, what kind of sphere fits into the, this, I'll make that sketch one visible again. Maybe hide our um, Dota Cahiran for a moment. Start a new sketch on the front plane. 
press U to copy that initial circle, press L, make that axis here, um, to cut that off, go into the revolve, hide that sketch one, take that face, revolve that around that axis, rename that sphere, change the appearance to some nice green, show that dodecahedron, hide that curve, and while we can work on the appearance here, edit the appearance, and with that slider, you can change the transparency of our dodecahedron. And just let's have a check. Front plane, tangency here. Right plane and top plane. Well, I hope you like that and I see you in the next video.